I play gods. But these two gods are not the same. They're made out of two different things. What does he mean? Okay, let's explain. One guy is bomb sprues. We all love sprues. We cut them up, we make them. This is, yep, okay. What about me, sir? Ah. Bom, bom. You are made out of Meliput with a side order of blue stuff. <laughs> but you can't make a whole army out of this shit. Look at it. It's putty. Guess what? Don't, 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 don't. Don't, 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 don't. I think I can. So what are you going to need to be able to make your guys? Um, there are a few tools that you'll need. Here is a quick breakdown of everything that I use. First and foremost, you need the originals. These are the bits that you're going to be cloning. You can make them, you can kit bash them and have a good time doing these things. Secondly, you are going to need two surfaces to work on. This is a wooden placemat. I tend to find that the blue stuff gets cold very quickly if you use it on a glass surface and it tends to mess up your cutting mat if you use it on that. So this is just where I make my actual molds. Secondly, to be able to mix the milliput itself, I like to use a tile. My surface uh, on which to work, um, when it gets dirty, just a paint scraper, scrape it off, you can clean it up. Good time is had by all. Next up, you will need some, wait for it. Well, but this is the stuff you're going to be making your soldiers out of. To be able to make the molds themselves, you will need a few things. Blue stuff. Uh, blue stuff is brilliant. Um, I've used this stuff to make all my guys. Makes the molds. Molds open up. The guys go inside there. Well, the putty goes inside there, and that is what actually makes them. Um, to make life easier, there are a few things that I like to use. Uh, just a mold form. I make my molds inside here. Makes it that I don't need too much uh, blue stuff to be able to make my guys. Next up, I use a few tools. I use just standard putty sculpting tools, you know, squish it in, clean it up, that sort of thing. I also use a really old brush. Um, this stuff is actually kind of important. I use it with antique wax. Um, if you're familiar with blue stuff, you'll know that when you make the mold initially and you're trying to separate it for the first time, this stuff sticks to itself like nobody's business. A little bit of antique wax, smear it on, Rub it in, create a nice non-bonding layer, and when you're making your molds, you can separate it. You don't need to use this as a mold release for the actual guys, just for when you're first making the mold. Next, you will need a bowl. This bowl is not for food. It is used for melting this stuff. Put in a little bit of boiling water, drop in your blue stuff, wait three minutes, comes out squishy, You'll see later in the YouTube video how that works. Now, when you make your guys, there will be a lot of flashing. You can see. So, just use a craft knife, a little bit of scratchy, scratchy, and my pieces come out clean. And when that is done, to glue the pieces together, I use super glue. This is a work in progress, it is an astropath. Kit bashed. I used the top of a flagpole, uh, sniper's cloak, commander's body, a few other odds and ends, and yeah, astropath, work in progress. I still need to clean up the cape, but yeah, you can see the type of things you do and have fun. 
Okay, let's get started. Boiling water. I am adding blue stuff into boiling water. Highly technical stuff this. And yeah, I will see you in three minutes. Three minutes have passed. It is now time to make the molds. I'm gonna go pretty quickly because this stuff doesn't really have much of a working life. Okay, step one is squishy squishy. I'm trying to get a smooth surface in which to make my molds. Squeezing out any air bubbles, water bubbles, any of that sort of thing. I'm not really one for talking much when I'm working. This is C for serious. What I am trying to do is trying to get as clean an edge as possible. thing I do need is these things the two halves kind of lock into each other like Lego blocks I think they're called indexing points not 100% sure but I've got them even if I don't know what they're called okay now for the other side Don't go on all squishy, squishy. Love this stuff. Just one thing, it is freaking hot. So be careful you don't burn yourself. I'm putting these guys face up. I found that with the faces especially, it's the second part of the mold that has the most detail. Trying to get as clean an edge away from detail as possible. of living in a block of flats people upstairs love moving their furniture around okay. index points index points index points index points index points and guess what another index points times two okay, I'm just giving it a quick once over neatening up the edges I 
Okay. That is the first half of our two part mold done. I'm gonna stick these bad boys into a deep freeze for 10 minutes. I find it just helps it come out a lot better if I do it that way. 10 minutes have passed. The time has now come for antique wax. Okay. Excuse me while I open this. Do, do, do. Yeah, we're going to save the day. Okay, for this antique wax, you don't need a lot. Just a little bit of my finger, rubbing in, a little bit more. A little bit on you too. A little bit more. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. Remember that old messed up brush? What I'm doing now is making sure that the mold release goes right up to the edge of the pieces that I'm casting. I find that if you don't, it sometimes leaves a little tear on the actual blue stuff and it goes into the mold that you're trying to cast. Rubbing it on, making it as thin as possible. Don't have to worry about it being lumpy um, when you put on the second part of this mold it tends to melt so you don't actually see any of these lines i love this antique wax but smelly but it works try and get it as thin as possible okay now for the second part of our two-part mold Let me just try to get the stuff off it is smelly yeah, here we go, here we go. Are you ready for these things? Okay, I can pop it off the blue stuff. Same story. Squeezing up air bubbles, getting a smooth surface, and squeezing this down as hard as possible. Enthusiastically squeezing it into the faces and into the indexing holes. Wow, not just a cheeky camera. My models must be scared. No, Sergeant, don't squish us like this. Too late, you've been squished. Okay, just making it a little neater. Okay, there we go. That's one side done. Time for side two. Please. Don't stick your fingers into boiling water. It hurts. Okay, here we go again. Yes, I am rough. Sneaking it up, making it level. Okay. okay, just like the first part, I'm going to stick them into a deep freeze for 10 minutes. Catch you later. The 10 minutes have passed. These guys are fresh at the deep freeze. Time to see if the molds actually worked. Moment of truth time. Did they work? Okay, quick quality control. Yeah, it looks good enough for government work. These guys are usable. Let's see how the heads came out. Yeah, 
good enough. guys out is sometimes a bit challenging especially if you make them too deep like I have but if you are patient generally speaking it works out alright for you okay quality control yeah looks good swapping out of the work surfaces. Tiles. And milliput. Gotta love this stuff. With this stuff, it tends to go a lot further than what you expect. So I've taken it as basic practice to measure off certain lengths from the base. And it just helps me that I don't waste material. About half a centimeter should be enough for this build. Okay, this stuff has got good working time. Uh, you'll have to mix it for about five minutes beforehand. And using a putty knife is pretty much all I'll have to do to get this slot sorted. Wow, I'm rambling. It's getting late in the day. It's taking me a lot longer to do this first YouTube video than I thought it would. But hey, good time is being had by all. Okay, two parts. I'm starting a timer for Five minutes, three, two, one, go. And I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. Five minutes have passed. I am ready to start the next stage of cleaning my fingers. It's a lot of material that you waste if you just wash it off. So if you rub your fingers together, it comes out in these long stringy bits and you get to use more of it. Just a side note, the stuff is also a little bit smelly, but I like it. It reminds me of free time and wasted summers. <laughs> okay, just rolling up all that loose material, loose material. Waste not, what not. Okay. First mold. The taking of the putty knife, the scraping of some Milly put and squeezing it into the molds. It's fun. Now for the legs. Okay. Here we go. That is all the cavities filled. Now for the next part is we will squish them together. On this, you want to use a lot of pressure. That's one. To cure these things, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them underneath a lot of weight, clamping them down for four hours. I will get back to you in four hours once these guys have partially cured. Thank you. I'll see you in a moment. It has been four long, arduous hours watching Patidra. Did it work? Did it fail? 
Nobody knows. Let's find out. Heads look good. Okay, you got to be careful. After four hours of this putty isn't exactly 100% cured. So any detail might be smushed by clumsy fingers. Get this one out, come on, come on, out, 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 out. Gentle. Gentle. And last one. Ah, there we go. This one's done. Ah, the legs came out beautifully. detail now although you can clean these up now um, I don't know if you can see on this one the putty is still just a little bit wet what I like to do is to leave them overnight and it just makes the cleaning process a hell of a lot easier I will get through that in a moment let me just set this up This is a fully cured project that I'm currently working on. I have already started cleaning up some of the things. Um, yeah, Cleaning it off is the same as any other uh, model that you get. Scrape it clean. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Generally speaking, I listen to music in the background. Well, at the moment I've got parrots going apeshit in the background. Okay, when I'm done here I will show you the next step. Yeah, much scraping later. Time now to glue these boys together. Well, this boy. He's just a single guy. Okay, let's just clear off some other stuff. I like to use a matchbox, matches, put a drop of super glue, and that's how I like to glue my guys. This makes it a little bit more easy. Thank you. Go over there, stand. one done I am going to glue the rest of these bits together and I'll show you the final result okay I've just finished gluing the last part glue is still a little bit wet but here you have a scion pew pew you're out of color soldier don't worry so I'm gonna get painted real soon <laughs> well, there you go. Um, base it as per normal. Paint it up as per normal. And yeah, see you over the table.